Alright, so good body position in the water, uh, comfortable breathing. Nice long reach to the front, and your, <clears throat> your arms appear to be reaching right in front of your shoulders, which is where you want to be. Uh, as you turn to breathe, there's a bit of a scissor kick. See how your, your legs sort of come out of line? So that'll cause a bit of drag uh, as, you're, as you're cruising along. You are lifting your head slightly to breathe. Um, it's, not, it's not excessive, but it will cause your hips and legs to sink a little bit. Um, the kick looks very relaxed. Uh, there could be something to be said for working on developing a stronger kick that would aid your body position as well as propulsion to some extent. So here you can really see you know, how much the legs um, scissor out of the streamline. The goal is to keep your legs in the same line as your, your torso, as your upper body. Rotation looks good, could be a little better in the sense of pushing the arm all the way through the stroke. Um, that might lift your returning shoulder up slightly higher. We'll see, uh, see that better on the underwater. <clears throat> and then your, your hands are... Your right is right on your shoulder line. Your left might be entering slightly in front of the head and then moving outward. So if anything, just uh, be aware of what your left hand is doing. I was just saying, uh, be aware of what your left hand is doing when you reach forward. So here you can see the uh, good long reach and the style of catch or the pull mechanic is a straight arm style. Uh, I mean, in the, the hand and forearm and uh, same thing here on the uh, left side. It does look like you're pushing through all the way the stroke, so you're pulling at the beginning and then pushing on the uh, the second half. It does look like you're pushing all the way through. Um, so thinking about that would not do anything for the rotation itself. Uh, hips and legs are a little low. Yeah, I think, you know, continuing to kick, um, standalone kicking, swimming twice or three times a week obviously would make a make a difference and then the last thing as far as the underwater goes that i could see is uh, make sure your hand stays flat to the back wall of the pool that way you're pressing yourself forward and then the line you're pulling through the path of your uh, stroke is good um, there could be a little bit of elbow bend so that a little bit of the forearm bends under their the torso uh, but the elbow bend you really want is that internal rotation of the shoulder and the high elbow catch. That's the, the piece um, that you want to really work towards. So with your right arm, uh, something else I noticed when I slowed it down here was uh, the hand and the arm sort of come in together. And what you want to see is that hand entering first and then the arm following through. Uh, so potentially entering a little closer to your head with the hand may help. Um, so the first part of this stroke is a, is a straight arm style where the upper arm and forearm and hand are more or less one line. And then starting about here, the elbow starts to lead back. And so there's a little bit of elbow slip, meaning the hand and forearm have not yet gone vertical. So, so not until this point, and you can see how your hand is sort of pitched inward and upward. So keep that hand flat to the back wall get that early vertical position sooner. Any amount sooner will, will help your speed. And then if you watch that entry, see how your arm came in at the same time as your hand? Some of that is affected by body position, so you, your hips and legs are a little low. I know we've talked about that. Uh, rotation here is good, extension is good. And then this arm, your left arm, is really more straight arm throughout the entire stroke cycle. So the one arm with paddles, the f excuse me, uh, fist with paddles, uh, one arm, you could use paddles with that. You do like a fist with paddle one arm drill, which would also be helpful. Uh, dog paddle is really good. And then if you really want to get into it, uh, getting some stretch cords and doing some stretch cord work uh, outside the pool. So notice how your hand and form are still not per uh, straight up and down. 
even um, almost approaching two thirds of the way through the stroke. So that's the uh, the big big piece, you know, getting that paddle into the correct position and you know moving forward. All right, thanks.